What's the worst thing your players ever did in a game? In an apocalypse world campaign, the PCs butchered a peaceful village because the local warlord paid them to. Am I that guy? James, I've done don't that. Need to talk I've literally about done this. that. I, I literally did that we not know. that long ago. We to know. be fair, okay, okay, I'll tell the story real quick. So uh, we went to this planet. It was full of giants and dwarves and stuff. We went to go see the giants because some philosopher giant gave us a quest to go. I, I can't remember the details, but anyway, so we got initiated in the tribe doing all these like different like, games and stuff. It was actually a really fun wee session. But uh, after the initiation to celebrate, you know, we had to go out on a great hunt, you see. Um, we're on top of the mountain, down at the bottom in the valley was a village of dwarves. And we ended up putting on, you know, the Vietnam song. Oh, yeah. Then- yeah, and we went on with our spell jammers and just knee-palmed them. Oh, my God. <laughs> it was pretty beast, not going to lie. <laughs> 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 but look, we got we got fully inducted into the giant tribe and uh, honorary members. I thought it was pretty cool. Beast. Yeah. Next story. <laughs> yeah. Eat babies. Unironically. Yeah, I'm bad, but I'm not that bad. Okay, guys. <laughs> Elaborate, please. Well, there was a ritual the warlock had conducted using this magic book he found. The ritual turned some babies he had kidnapped into leaf monsters. When the party found the leaf monsters, we chose to murder them. Unaware, they were made of babies. The warlock somehow convinced our party to eat the babies as a salad later that day. Well, of course it was a warlock, <laughs> you know. Well, look, at least they're staying healthy. Eat your greens, guys. <laughs> Fuck me. Gassed an entire village, then collected their ears in order to get the bounty. The GM mentioned the bounty in passing as a small fringe reward for the work we're doing to get us to the village so we could see the big bad evil guy recruiting people. My character took along a canister of poisonous gas. We earned a hell of a lot more money than he expected us to. Look, look, everyone's done that before. It's just that they were goblins and you didn't feel bad about it because they were goblins. (laughs) Yeah, it's different when it's a village though. (laughs) I don't know, I don't know. Decapitated a negotiator of a shadow organisation and an innkeeper just because he was here and the negotiations happened in his inn. Why'd you bring him in here? Why? Burned down the inn, the fire spread to the rest of the block, brought back the heads of the negotiator and innkeeper as proof that the shadow organisation was dealt with. The shadow organisation was not <laughs> dealt with. <laughs> you know the worst thing is... I know, we've do- you've done that as well, James, we know. <laughs> it, was like it was by accident, okay? We were trying to deal with that infestation. The rats set on fire and burnt the fucking village down. That was Garbo's fault, just saying. He was DMing. <laughs> he, he, sh- he, shouldn't have, he shouldn't have let us do it. Most of these bad things James has done. <laughs> I don't think I'm actually that bad. And James I, I, has I, a cheek. James has a cheek to friggin' look down and these people go, oh, why would you do that? And it's like, okay. <laughs> look, I'm incredibly opportunistic. Incredibly. You know the worst thing is, I was actually playing a paladin at the time. Oh, great. They may have been heathens, Megan. They may have been heathens. <laughs> Who knows? My buddy killed a six-year-old boy on a cattle raid once. Kids shouldn't have passed the perception check. Just so happened he escaped through the haunted woods. So he was naturally pursued by a ghostly stag wearing the face of the boy he just killed. That that's sounds actually horrifying. Pretty, that's actually a pretty good way to deal with these situations. Yeah, I like it that. Also, it sounds fucking horrifying. It, it it sounds like a really cool cryptid. Do you remember cryptids from like two thousand and six on YouTube? Yeah. Do you remember like really early and the really shit quality videos? Yeah. And they would just put like human faces on stuff. Yeah. Like snakes and donkeys and. <laughs> It was a really weird time, to be honest with you. I can't be the only one that remembers this. <laughs> Once in a Mutants of Masterminds game, due to some confusion about how power scaled and interacted, I accidentally vaporised all of Beijing, killing roughly 30,000 people and 21 million plus Chinese. Wait, what does he mean by 30,000 30, people? And then, and then, <laughs> and then 21 the Ch- million plus Chinese? Wait. <laughs> Wait, hold, hold up there a second. But no, honestly, I don't think that's that bad. Like, you know, like, I haven't watched any, like, superhero movies in a while. The last one I can really remember was, like, what was that Man of Steel one? Yeah. Do you remember what it was odd? And they completely destroyed New York. I'm, like, that's 9-11 times 50. Yeah. So, that, I, you know, when you're dealing with power levels that high. It's shit like this Just happens. don't get into fights in cities, <laughs> yes. you know? I don't think I could choose one thing, so I'll just go down the list. Second session, a player split the party because he refused to do a quest before he could scam a barkeep into giving him a free breakfast. 
which, by the way, was only saving them about <laughs> two silver. <laughs> Why does that sound like every rogue I've ever met? Yeah. And I know it was a rogue. And a dwarf. Yeah. Look, dwarves, <laughs> dwarves are designed to be greedy by very yeah. nature, you know? To accomplish this scam, he tried to convince people there was a fire happening with prestidigitation and bullshitting. Oh, he was a sore square then. Ended up with a different player who was helping him murdering a barmaid in broad view of multiple witnesses, which caused the party to have to go on the run despite half of them not even knowing this was happening. On the run in a different town, they spent multiple in-game hours planning a complex murder of a shopkeeper's entire family, coming up with a specific contingency plans depending on how many children they needed to massacre. Oh my god. The bugbear was even planning to eat them so as not to leave the evidence. <laughs> <laughs> Why are bugbears like this? <laughs> Part of casing said shop was the war forged going in and making conversation with the owner to get info. But the player got so nervous he blurted out, How many kids do you have? before running out. <laughs> they constantly harass NPCs with ridiculous stunts and actions. One threatened to kill another player for leaving to get a bounty reward. It's gotten to the point I legitimately plan on them robbing everything and so put specific story beats in those robberies since it's all they do. One willingly worked with an enemy against the rest of the party for gold. Didn't even have to charm him like I planned. Just went along with it immediately. You. No, it's not me. No, okay. Megan. Okay. I've, I've never done that. Just saying. <laughs> okay. I've never, I've never, I've never plotted against another party member. Not against party members, but you just go willingly with the evil people and be like, work with us. Okay. Well, <laughs> look, do they have coin? Look, I'm, I'm a part of it, okay? <laughs> exactly. Do they have coin? Like, you know, look, I'm playing a pirate, I'm a goblin, moral compass, doesn't really apply. <laughs> One planned to kill a friendly NPC simply because he did bad in a combat encounter and so didn't want a bad reputation. <laughs> One legitimately considered a pack with an evil tree daddy that was very obviously bad news. Stop looking at me, Megan. <laughs> I'm likely forgetting some other things, but it's just been a caravan of bad decisions this entire campaign. Still a great time though, and gives me plenty of improv practice, so I digress. Well, like, that's all that really matters. If, if the <laughs> party's having fun, fuck, I, w I, I, I seem like I would fit right in there. I think I would quite enjoy that game. Just saying. Yeah. Although, I do think, honestly, heist, sometimes I find like good heist missions, like sessions, I don't know, I really enjoy them. Do all that Mission Impossible type shit. Yeah. You know, and I like spending like your session. Oh, okay, like, let's get the whereabouts, let's yeah. do all the planning. You know, like, Ocean's Eleven was a great movie, guys. <laughs> That's all I'm gonna say. And now, the models of our website. Brought to you by neckbeardia.co.uk. Get you all some of these titties. Dwarf titties, or titties, cat titties, fat titties, the gases and we the bit. Vampires and goblins and all the buff champions and even hentai, yeah that too. Dragons, matagors, ogres and no some bugbearers and even more to you go still. Undead and demons and then our friend Pally and definitely not 40k. What else? Dark elves and lizards and Megan the Slither and James the look cool as he stands. Beholders and kobolds and tyrants and only in a donkey with a frying pan. If you don't want no models, then no need to bother. We now have subclasses and tees. Also, Garbro's book. Go have a look. Check out the link to Kofi. Thank you for watching our videos and giving our channel a hand. But this is the end, our viewers and friends. So let's get back to the video, man. <laughs> I fucking hate myself. <laughs> Raped another player in game, then proceeded to sacrifice half of his village in a quest to get a cool obsidian sword. Look, all I'm saying is I've never raped anyone. In game, no, you haven't. I've never done it. I've, 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 I've never raped anyone in, in game. game. <laughs> Why did you say that? <laughs> look, all I'm saying is I've ne look, I've never fallen to criminalism. Although senseless violence and in money <laughs> and money have been my downfall. Yeah, yeah. I can't deny that. Please do a story time. It sounds quite funny. Well, my homebrew has the players playing as separate emperors slash kings of the kingdom. One of the newer and lower kings was trying to find a way quick to receive power. Before the player joined, recently a group of barbarian mercenaries joined with the kingdom due to a natural twenty, and they brought in also the worship of the devil, like God. Not known to be completely evil to the players yet. Known as the Black Goat. The oh black my god! Goat. Come on, everyone knows that's evil. As soon as... Oh, the Black Goat. Oh, come on. The Black Goat. 
Or it could be like some pagan god, but it still it sounds, black pretty, goat. It sounds pretty evil though. When the new player joined, he wanted to use the power of the black goat. Wait, he hold on. Does to... Tommy, the commie, worship the black goat? He does post an awful lot of goats. Yeah, he does. On Facebook. Tommy the commie is like, what, a 40-year-old goth? Of course he does. <laughs> Beast. When the new player joined, he wanted to use the power of the black goat to try to gain prestige. However, the goat needed sacrifices to grow in power. So he sacrificed half of his time. <laughs> now, when a god needs sacrifices and you have to kill an entire town, something's going to tell me that they're evil. <laughs> yeah, that she may, what? Just going to put that out there. Something tells me that they're evil. Human sacrifice is never, a never, good thing. it never equals God equals good. Yeah. He's then informed by an imp that he needs to get a child of royal blood to get the blessings and powers of that goat. So he travels off the main continent to a series of isles ruled by a separate player. He reaches the capital of Tortuga and kidnaps Tortuga. Is that not in Pirates of the Caribbean? Yeah, it is actually, isn't, isn't it? it? He reaches the capital of Tortuga and kidnaps one of the 11 children of player 2. He then at the same time learned that the rules of the game, of not broken, allow most anything so he raped the other player's regent with him present in the session. Why? Why? Why, guys? Why, you know, Why does it always lead to rape? I don't know. I don't know. Because it's, it's an easy, edgy way of being like, this equals bad. Yeah. I feel like I feel like it, it's it's very cheap a lot of the time, yeah. you know. Although I do want to bring one thing up. So a friend of ours, RL, um, has got a history YouTube channel called the Orator of Histories. I'll link it down below. He did a video on um, the Second Punic War about the Battle of Cannae. However, just after the Battle of Cannae, um, they never like Rome started actually sacrificing children as well, or was that Carthage? I can't remember the details, sorry for <laughs> your history buffs, but um, apparently they got into trouble with the gods, you see, because the they were the, the richer ones, they said that they were going to sacrifice one of their children, yeah. but they were actually buying poor people's children to and sacrifice, them. and then that's why they believed, oh, you see, you fuck with the gods, uh -huh. you don't fuck with gods, you see, and then they then had to do it on top of that. Yeah. I think that's the last time human sacrifice has been performed. In Europe, though, in any grand scale, I can't think mm. of any other. If you guys know, I, I, it's I probably I, been more because there's been more. You know, human sacrifice has been around for thousands of years. Yeah, so. it, well, it's, it still exists in certain parts of the world, but it's yeah. way less common yeah. than what it is. You know. Yeah. I feel Christianity kind of stamped most of it out. Yeah, Christianity was probably a reason why most of why it did stop. Yeah. Um, because it was a lot of like the pagan religions and stuff like that. That um. Not even a lot of people. I don't think a lot of okay animal sacrifice. Yeah, animal sacrifice I think only if it, only if there was a time of like plague or a time of you know what I mean, like you know, dying yeah. hardship, drought, famine, yeah. disease. I think that they yeah. would resort it to that. Probably would have been because before that, it would have been like the Mayans and stuff. Yeah, they're the only ones. Well, who they, really they, went they, hardcore at it? Yeah, like, let's not talk about that. <laughs> yeah. Anyway, sorry about that sidetrack. If you guys know any bit thing about human sacrifice, let us know down below. <laughs> it's one of those topics that just. Fascinates me. I can't help it. <laughs> <laughs> Be our party at Ye Old Inn. One of our players wants to fuck some prostitutes. Obviously. DM obliges. Halfway through fun times, his werewolf blood kicks in. Oh fuck. Prostitute wants out. His PC doesn't want to be left unsatisfied. One roll later and there's a dead prostitute in the alley. The character walks into the alley pissed drunk. My PC has emotional issues and takes out violent rage at some points randomly. Before your character is a person slumped in the corner of the alley. This is one of those random points of anger. I start kicking the figure. DM is <laughs> DM is recoiling at the thought of having to describe what the actions will create. They don't react. My character. Kicks harder. Five minutes later. And finally, my character throws them against the wall. Pile of mystery meat. DM's face went. 99% sure this PC was a furry. Probably 99.9% .9 of the time, if you're a werewolf. 99% of the time, it's always a furry all the time. And, you know, he was very concerned about getting blue balls. <laughs> he was very concerned about blue balls. He's a coomer furry, of course. Yeah. 
Player playing a knight errant confronted a nobleman because he was going to rape a peasant. Why is it always rape? I told you guys. To be fair, apparently that was quite common with knights. Apparently, like I heard one story someone told me. I don't know how true it is. Apparently that's why Sunday exists, to give the peasants a break. Because the knights would just go and fuck with people. I thought it was based on the Bible. It is as well, but it was also to be like, you know what, the peasantry are getting annoyed. Can you please stop fucking with them for five minutes? But they fuck them because they rape them. Apparently so. I don't know how true that is. I'm not 100%. I thought it was just to do with the seven, or the seven days of creation or whatever yeah, it was. Yeah, I'm not, I'm not 100%. Look, if I'm wrong, I'm wrong. But I remember someone telling me this and I don't know if it's true or not. Yeah. So uh, let us know down below if that really <laughs> was the case. I'm sure somebody will know. Yeah. Nobleman told him to fuck off. Player stabbed his bodyguards to death. Nobleman surrenders and offers to face trial of his peers. Player stabs him to death on the spot. <laughs> as, as if he was ever going to, like, to like, come on, let's go to court. It's like, no. <laughs> <laughs> Player then turns to the guy's wife, who knows about the peasant rape and doesn't care, and says, you're better off without him, and tosses 50 gold pieces as compensation. <laughs> she hires a paladin of the God of Law to track down and arrest the PC because he technically broke the law by executing the guy instead of taking him to trial. Paladin and his company track and confront the party at the inn. He says he's under arrest and anybody not involved can leave freely without consequence. Party sides with their buddy and fights the paladin. Fight is a close fought one, with one of the party's NPC's helpers dying in the fight. Paladin and his squire captured. Paladin says, you can kill me if you want, but let my squire go. Knight Errant's player refuses and cuts off the squire's hands in a fit of pique. He then says that he and the paladin will duel in the morning, but orders the paladin to be tied up and kept awake all night to prevent him from recovering hit points, spell slots, and making him exhausted so the duel will be as unfair as possible. Paladin escapes during the night with the help of another PC who thinks the rig duel is bullshit. Yeah, if you're going to challenge somebody to do a duel, like, <laughs> like you know, you, like, can't, you can't, like, you like, cannot do that. Everyone knows the ending of Gladiator was 100% fucking bullshit <laughs> by him stabbing him in the fight or before the fight. Paladin Aaron learns of the escape and furiously hunts the paladin. Convinced the paladin is taking shelter in a nearby village on no evidence, the knight Aaron sets the entire village on fire and butchers the pe- butchers the peasants as they flee while screaming, "Where is the paladin?" Knight Errant returned to the party and wonders why they now think he's a psycho. <laughs> I mean, look, Megan, I've never done anything that bad. No, but that that that's heavy. That is pretty heavy. That really got out of hand. Why why did he want to kill the noble one anyway? <laughs> and like you know, look, if he was going to do it, if he was going to do it, you may as well kill the wife. Yeah. You may just as well. Is it? Look, she's a noble woman. Is it fifty golds going to fucking pair off? Exactly. You're going to need a fucking wagon. Pennies. Yeah, exactly. You need a wagon out of that shit. I know. So I think that's where we're going to end it. So what's the worst thing you guys have ever done? And like, you know, I think I've probably talked about what the worst thing I've ever done. I can't even think yes, of the worst thing have. I've ever done. I don't think there's anything. There's too many. <laughs> it's just an average session, to be honest with you. <laughs> but let us know down below what the worst thing you have ever done or your players at your table have ever done. And while you're down there, check out the links to our models. Oh, yeah, yeah. I'm going to put in the new advert. What do you think of the new advert? Megan absolutely cringes at it. It's 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 cursed, but also wholesome at the same time. <laughs> I don't really know what I make of it. I think it's comic gold, personally. Mm. So, but that's yeah. only because you get to see Megan's face like... <laughs> well, you don't get to see my face, and I'm yeah, glad you didn't. <laughs> <laughs> I thought it was funny as fuck. But yeah, check out the model, t-shirt, subclasses, all that good shit. Hit subscribe and hit the notification bell so you get notified every time we post. And also, if you're interested in the history channel that oh, our yeah, friend yeah, has, I'll, I'll link the it links down will be below. down below. Um, and we'll see you in the next video. Bye!